Hello GQ, I'm Austin Butler, and here are my essentials. So, guitars have, have been very important in my life. Um, I got my first guitar when I was 12. My parents used to ground me by taking away my guitar because I, I would just sit in my room and play for eight hours a day until my fingers bled. This guitar is very special to me uh, for a couple of reasons. It was a gift from somebody who is one of my favorite people in this world. And this is the guitar that Elvis played in, in his 1968 comeback special. So it's a very special guitar to me. This is one of my favorite books. Um, I always try to have a book on me. This one in particular is, is amazing. This is Raymond Carver's short stories. Uh, what we talk about when we talk about love. This one's particularly beautiful because it, um, it digs into all those gray areas of life and love. He's able to put things into words that that I, I, we all feel, but it's, it's really hard to um, articulate it sometimes. I talked to Tom Hanks about how to keep your sanity, you know, and, and how to have longevity in your mental health and in your career and everything. And he said, he said, you know, one thing I do is every day I read, even if it's 10 minutes, I just read a little bit of something that has nothing to do with the job that I'm doing. That sort of gave me this permission from one of my heroes to, to just have a little bit of joy reading every day. So my next essential is dark chocolate. This is a brand called Ritual. I found this in New York for the first time, and um, I like I like upwards of 72% dark chocolate. I'm, I, I'm not a big milk chocolate fan. I respect people who do like it, but I'm just not a fan. And now I'll do, I'll do some dark chocolate with some oat milk, and like really cold oat milk, and it's, that's a really good combo. All right, so my next essential is a camera. Uh, this is a Leica M6. I also have an M4. That was my first film camera that I bought. I, I, was, I was working in New Zealand and I knew I needed something to keep me sane, some hobby that I could obsess about on my days that I wasn't working. The other fun thing about this, it's, it feels like Christmas morning every time you get film developed. And it's a slower process, so it, it makes you appreciate it more and I'm a lot more decisive about what I'm gonna shoot and, and which is different than when you just take out your phone and take a bunch of pictures. I ended up I ended up buying this house. I had a dark room downstairs. So I had this basement with a dark room and uh, and so I started learning how to do that and I just spent hours in there in the red light, you know, developing pictures and I found so much joy doing that. What I used to do is brew yerba mate tea, and then I found this, and and that's kind of this nice cold afternoon delight. But lately, I just I, I've been cracking open one of these, and um, and keeps me going in the afternoon. I guess my thing is I like the mood in a room to feel a certain way. I found this perfumer in London, and the story that, that they told me is that she makes individual scents for Johnny Depp whenever he plays different roles, and so he'll have a specific scent for the role. I don't know if it's true, I haven't corroborated that, but I like that story. I had a time where I was doing The Iceman Cometh to New York. I had this oil that I put on before every every time I walked out on stage, and something about just whether, whether you're smelling something or hearing something or, um, or feeling something, uh, there's ways that you, you just can trigger a mental state. It's almost like Pavlov's dogs, you know, where you, where you kind of, you can trigger something in yourself. So my next essential is, uh, is a good pair of vintage boots. These I found at a vintage store in New York, um, and, and I just tried them on, and, and uh, I've got some others that are, you know, that this part comes up further, but th these are just, uh, so comfortable. And then I ended up watching uh, Fight Club one day and seeing Tyler Durden. I'm be I believe he's got the same boots uh, in, in uh, one of the scenes and he wears them unlaced and I thought it made me like him even more. I never know until I try on a, a boot, but you know, some just, they feel right um, when you put them on. 
All right, so what we have here, our next essential, a Carhartt jacket. I've got these in a number of different colors. It's nice to have, it keeps you warm. And, um, I, I just, yeah, it's, it's such an essential piece for me. I, I found my first jacket, I was in my mid 20s and I was in New York and found a vintage one at some at some spot in Brooklyn and they just feel good on, you know, they keep you warm. I like the canvas, you know, feel to it. And then as they get worn in, they just feel better and better. They, they, it's like boots, you know, where they just, they start to feel like a piece of you. I, I went through a period of wearing a car hard jacket every day. And, and uh, yeah, even in the summertime, I mean, people would think it was ridiculous, but I just, it, it starts to feel like a security blanket, you know? All right, my next essential is a good journal. Uh, this is a moleskin. I have so many of these. I've got bookshelves full of, full of these from over the years. And uh, I, I, I use it trying to work out my own thought processes. Whenever I, I get a new notebook, I, I end up feeling a lot of pressure when I, when I christen the first page. Usually my handwriting is really beautiful on the first page and I'll start with a poem or something like that. And then, and then progressively it becomes just a stream of consciousness. Actually reading Matthew McConaughey's book uh, is he talked about not just writing when, when you're sad, not just writing when you're feeling depressed or anxious, but, but also making note of the, the times when things are going really well. And so that way you can look back and say, how, what was I doing at that point in my life that made me feel uh, empowered or, or grateful or whatever those things are. So I've been trying to employ that a little bit more. So my next essential is not just water, because we can't live without it, but um, a, a good container to hold it in. I find that if I'm active, I am drinking a lot more water. Uh, when I go through lazy periods, then I'm not. Yeah, I, I've been trying to be more active lately, so I've been I've been really trying to be better about it. But you know, some days I'm, I I get to the whole day and I realize I've had three coffees and no water, and that's not good. All right, so that's it. These are my essentials. Thank you, GQ. Thank you for everybody who watched, and I hope you have a good day.